I've got another great singer for you in this little feature. But before I say anything more, I want you to just listen to this. Now, that is the great Russian bass Fyodor Shalyapin. And before I say any more, I must tell you that the British Library have put up a lovely blog about him with Simon Callow. You can access it by uh, going to Blogs BLUK Classical Podcast Number 4. It's with Jonathan Summers and it's a, a lovely discussion about Shelley Arpin with quite a few of his recordings illustrating it. That's the only one I'm going to play now. It's Massenet's Elegy. But did you notice, apart from the extraordinary pathos of the performance and the beauty of the voice, the way Shelley Arpin threw his voice to the other end of the studio, almost uh, as if it was a uh, a theatrical ploy. Of course, he was a tremendous actor on stage, performing Boris Godunov by Mazorsky, a Mozart and Salieri by Rimsky-Korsakov, and all manner of Russian operas. And that, I think, is one of the greatest examples of his art on record. He, pl he made uh, plenty of them. They're available in Ward Marston's marvellous set devoted to his complete recordings. And if you go to Jonathan's blog, you will be able to hear a complete uh, performance of that Massenet elegy, that very recording. But I just want to tell you very briefly about how I discovered Shaliapin. I used to listen to a programme uh, broadcast by the BBC called Your 100 Best Tunes uh, with Alan Keith. I'm sure a lot of you remember it. I think it was on a, a Sunday night and I used to sit in my bedroom. Uh, I was about 14 and listened to all the popular classics. One night this record came on and this voice, it sounded like a a sort of long lost uncle who was uh, inter giving you intimate advice uh, uh, about amatory matters, uh, spilling his emotions, being totally candid, totally honest, um, a moment of revelation, a moment of confession. It was an experience that I'd never ever encountered before in a recording of a singer, a classical singer. And I was bowled over by it. Now I went straight to my record shop to see Massenet Elegy. I made a note of what it was uh, with Shelley Arpin. Uh, nobody had even heard of its existence. Uh, unlike a lot of famous recordings from the pre-war period, that one is from that period. Um, it had never gone on to LP, although the song on the other side of the 78, the Persian Love Song by Rubenstein, had made it to a, a French HMV LP. So I went everywhere. I used to go to the markets, Portobello Road, Brick Lane, looking for 78s. So I used to collect them in those days. No sign of this gramophone exchange, which in those days was in Wardour Street. I used to go in there regularly to see if a copy of the Massenet Elegy with Shelley Alpin had turned up. Never. A chap called Pop Russell there used to look after the 78s. He used to smoke these cheroots. The place stank, but it was an absolute haven for uh, collectors. And I used to love going there. Never, ever saw this record. So what was I to do? Would I ever find it? Um, so what happened was... One day um, I was waiting at the bus stop in East Finchley. I didn't know 
and no record shops around there. And um, the bus was late. I thought, I'm just going to go for a walk. I went round the back streets and I saw this incredibly old record shop. Now you're talking about, of course, this is back in the 19, early 1960s. And uh, an even older man was running it. And I thought, well, shall I just go in? Maybe he's even heard of it, which will be a start. So I said, look, I'm looking for a, a 78 call of, of, of Massonet's, um, Jules Massonet's Elegy, sung by Shelley Up, and he made a record of it. I've never been able to trace it. I just thought I'd ask on the off chance. So he shuffled off round the back to his little store area. And to my utter amazement, he came back with a new copy of the 78 that had been on his shelves ever since he ordered it, I think in the 1940s, for stock. I got that record out of stock in the end and I took it home. I was absolutely thrilled. Of course, since then, it's been uh, reissued many, many times and never better than in Ward Marston's set of uh, CDs devoted to Fyodor Shaliap. And this is the wonderful book you get with it. Uh, and the artistry of that man, as I said, especially in opera, in folk song, in uh, even in Italian opera, he has something to offer. It's a voice, a wonderful voice, lyrical, uh, can be extremely dramatic. Uh, the performance is full of feeling, as I say, full of pathos. And if you want to explore a manner of singing that is completely lost to us today, although some people, I suppose, are trying to win it back, just like art song. The art, it really is in Shelley Arpin's singing, so I would investigate. But do go and look at that blog with Simon Callow and Jonathan Summers, because it's excellent. Not look at the blog, but listen to it. It's well worth investigating. Thank you for watching.